Samantha here and welcome back to another episode of CC Shop with me and we're going to do another haul today mostly because my sim self is moving um, out of her apartment into a bigger and fancier apartment or a penthouse rather and she's moving with her boyfriend and I kind of want to get her a new bedroom set I, I you know I don't know some of the bedroom sets I feel like that we get in the game I just wish they had like more coordinated pieces sometimes I find myself hopping in between packs trying to get woods that match or colors that match things of that nature so I kind of just want to see if I could just find one just stop one big just what am I trying to say one big bedroom set that has like pictures you know bedding curtains just everything all in one so I could just kind of make like a dream bedroom for her so I really loved how um, Carter's room came out which is her little boy her little baby boy so I was like why don't I just go back and do some more CC shopping to get her like the ultimate bedroom set it seems like that'd probably be the best thing to do and also she's moving with her boyfriend so it's kind of be nice to have them have like a whole new bed set kind of like commemorating their move together and all that good jazz um so anyway i am on ss vitalins or lena cc finds which is like the ultimate go-to one-stop shop for cc shopping and i've mentioned this uh this tumblr before one good thing about this is not only does um i'm assuming it's a she because her name's lena but it might not be but anyway um one good thing about this website is it pretty much scours the entire internet for every single piece of Sims 4 CC. Even some of my Sims 4 CC that I've made is on this website, which I didn't even realize that until like maybe like a week ago. <laughs> but anyway, um, stuff like just anything, Sim, even that stuff that's on the Sims resource, things that are on Tumblr. So it's a good one-stop shop if you guys are looking for Sims uh, for custom content. And also because she does like this handy dandy organizational thing. Now this is just the furniture. Okay, so I've showed you guys before when you do all tags she has it built um categorized by create a sim buy mode build mode game mode pets miscellaneous and even when you go to miscellaneous y'all well no themed cc list she even has it by video games by season by by um holiday but we're going to just focus on because i've done these quite a bit so we're just going to focus on the buy mode we're going to do furniture and objects and i love how she already has them categorized by actual rooms so we're just going to go to bedrooms you could do bedroom recolors but i'm just going to do bedroom because i just want all the bedrooms that we can get and it pretty much just begins so let's get started um i kind of already have an idea of what i want i don't mind anything being alpha but i definitely wanted to match the game aesthetic a little bit more um than some of the cc that we run across um so probably will strive a little bit more towards max's match but if it is alpha it has to be like a certain type of alpha i don't know how to explain it like this piece right here this would be because probably considered alpha but it's 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 very rich looking it doesn't look like sometimes alpha cc looks super thin to me and oh my gosh this thing comes with blankets pillows candles ottomans lamps pictures rugs this is what i'm talking about i want like an all-in-one just drop top <laughs> why do i keep wanting to say drop top one stop type things so we're going to open this in new tab uh and then we're going to continue but see like this one to me it has i don't know i don't know how to explain what i'm thinking but sometimes just based on the screenshots i know it's not going to match my game aesthetic like this rug doesn't look dimensional to me it looks kind of flat so it makes me feel like you know sometimes alpha cc has like a flat look I, yeah i don't know how to explain it um but anyway we'll, we'll pass on and i really like john sim stuff generally but this one i'm probably gonna pass on the colors aren't very um I don't know something about the colors is just kind of like throwing me off uh so anyway we're gonna go on and continue until I see some stuff that just definitely floats my boat here and it looks like so far just this one page we just had the one item okay so let's go to older and see what we got um see some of these just look a little bit too I don't know I don't know how to explain the aesthetic that I'm looking for but you know when you do as much cc shopping as I do when you run across things, you just know. You, you just know that it's not going to fit your game. I mean, unless you're doing an entire house in what be considered alpha stuff, it just, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you might as well just go on and and just do a whole house in maxis or do a whole house in alpha but sometimes you can mix intermix you know certain pieces in between but for the most part it makes your whole vibe get thrown off if you have way too much alpha 
or way too much maxes if you're trying to go for an alpha look. I don't know how to explain it. This set actually is not bad. It's very alpha E. <laughs> I think my only concern with this one is, yeah, it's a little too alpha for me. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I float, I, I go between them both. I love alpha stuff and I love maxes stuff. And I have some Sims that are straight maxes match all the time. And I have some Sims that they rock alpha. And it just, it just depends on what mood I'm in, you know, and it depends on, okay. So this one right here, this is like a good example <laughs> of what I mean. So this bedding to me looks straight Max's match. I don't know why, but the frame and the locker and all that stuff on the side, except for this, cause this is in the game and probably these candles, but everything else looks kind of alpha-y. So to me, it just doesn't gel together well. I, I don't know how to explain it, but we're gonna continue looking until I see just something that just, uh, yeah, it just, just stops me dead in my tracks. Sadly though, y'all, I have, okay, I do like PQ Sims 4. I do like their stuff, but I'm gonna pass on that one as well. This is interesting. Like I was thinking to come in here and just rack up on tons and tons of stuff. And so far, see like this to me is a little too alpha-y. I don't know how to explain it. Like the satin sheets are pretty, but it just will be a little too, like if, you know, if you push it up against something that's maxisy, it's gonna look out of place. That's exactly what I was looking for earlier when I was trying to figure out how to say what I was saying. Um, it's just gonna look out of place. Um, this one is actually not bad, but I, the colors so far, I'm just not digging the colors. So we'll pass on that one. I have to be a little bit choosy when it comes to downloading Funnager CC, only because I always end up with a ton when I CC shop, cause I might like this lamp, but I might like, like the bed and I might like the rug, but I might not like the, you know what I'm saying? So I'll get the whole set because you know, I want one or two items from it. And then when I'm going build by mode, or if I'm like furnishing a house, I'm like taking days trying to scroll through everything. Cause I have so much, um, I don't want to say junk, but I have so much stuff, you know, that I just, I just don't generally use. So it's kind of like lately I've been noticing whenever I go CC shopping, especially when it comes to f for furniture, that I really have to be picky about the items that I download. Um, and honestly, I probably at this point need to go in my um, my Sims 4 folder. I actually like this piece. I'm gonna go on and look and see what this one looks like, but I actually need to go in my Sims, uh, in my furniture folder, in my mods folder, and just do a CC clean out with it because there is a ton of stuff in there. Oh my goodness! This one right here though, oh my gosh, like if I had like an alien sim or like a futuristic LP, I would totally get that. I kind of want to get this just to see what it looks like in game. Let's grab it just to see what it looks like in game, but I probably won't leave it in my game. But golly, like if it really lights up like that, that is awesome. Okay, Dylan is in the background playing with my sewing machine like he likes to do. I don't know. He likes to I have like, I don't know how many, maybe like 90 something stitches on there. I think it does go up to 99 and he likes to toggle between the numbers and watch the numbers go up and down. If you guys know anything about me or my kids, you know, he loves numbers. And so he just wants to look at them all day long. He wants to count. He wants to, um, <laughs> he wants to play with them. He's doing like addition and subtraction already. Thanks to his sister. So it's like, we want to he wants to do addition numbers all day long. Well, mom, if I give you two and I give you two more, how many do you have? I'm just like, okay, Dylan. <laughs> okay, Dylan. Okay, so I already knew this was Peacemaker before I even got into it good. So Peacemaker is definitely, I, I, I think it's a guy. Um, when it comes to Max's match furniture, y'all, he is the king of it, okay? I don't know of anybody else. And I really, because his stuff like literally looks like it comes in packs. It's crazy. Um, so I even though I don't think that this will match the aesthetic of the bedroom I'm trying to do, has a very... Um, is it mid-century? What would that be considered? Yeah, I think mid-century vibe. Kind of like how bowling stuff came when we first got bowling stuff. Uh, it definitely has that vibe. So I probably wouldn't use it in this particular house that I'm going to be using it in. But uh, definitely we'll be using it. So somewhere. So I'm going to get it just because I kind of want it. Um, but we're going to go on and continue. But Peacemaker, y'all, if you're looking for a Max Maxis Matchy furniture, I mean, crazy how much stuff he has. I mean, and the funny thing is, it's gotten to the point where if I run across this stuff, I'm downloading it even if I don't need it because I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be like a decent quality. And almost every time I have something break in my game that's like CC, 
it's never his stuff. I've never had his stuff break before. And I know that says a lot because I've had some furniture while I get in the lot, it disappears. Uh, it gives me um, the errors. What's the name of those? The um, the Ellie errors, whatever they call. Um, I'll get those. And uh, it. I've never had his do that before. So that's another reason why you have to be kind of choosy when you do some furniture CC shopping because um, a lot of times you will get this furniture and you'll just be in love with it or maybe you'll just be in like with it or maybe in lust with it for the moment, you know, just something for the moment. And then, you know, it'll be the first thing to break in your game, <laughs> you know. So anyway, you just got to You got to got to be choosy. Um, so man that ooh, okay so i actually love the wood color of this set and the dresser and the nightstand but i am not a fan of that bedding color but i oh it comes with this right here i kind of want to see it in the game okay so there is other bedding options it gives me like a sahara desert feel okay we're gonna check this one out in game Oh, look, as I say Sahara Desert, y'all, there's like giraffes and stuff to go with it. We're going to check this out in game. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. It definitely teeter totters the line, you know, but it, it, it does match the aesthetic that I would want. Besides the bedding color might be a little too wild for me. I'm so muted, you know, y'all. I'm boring. Okay, let's just keep it real. I don't feel like I'm boring, but I like, oh my gosh, the Hamptons Retreat. Oh, this is absolutely stunning stunning oh my god do you know what's funny this particular piece right here it looks like it could have been a couch that converted to a bedroom set so for storytelling purposes like if you had a sim that was like spending the night and you want to pull the bed out you could totally like do that with this one it does look that like that doesn't it okay let's grab this one another peacemaker um fine let's grab that one it's crazy though that I've done so many pages and I have yet. I mean, we only have like a handful of tabs open. You know, if we were doing like uh, CC shopping, like some legit CC, like clothing and stuff, I would have had like to stop. I don't know how many times to go download stuff. Uh, this set is actually really pretty, but I'm going to pass on it. But that set is really pretty, um, but we're going to pass on that one. Okay, so you got the Richard bedrooms, very rich looking. Uh, doesn't have enough pieces for me, so I'm just gonna go on and pass it. Lit de parade, parade. I feel like that needs to be en français, but I don't think it is. But it is from okay, it does have some French in it. I don't know, we're gonna pass it anyway, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. But uh, yeah, when it comes to colors and stuff, yeah, I oh, this one is actually really cute. Oh my gosh, dreams come true. Oh, if my future, if my sim self has a daughter in her future. This will totally be cute. But the only thing is, this is just like accessory pieces. Like, where's the bed? Where's like everything else? This is accessory piece, pieces. I wonder if there's like a bed or anything to go with it. Um, all right, we're gonna pass all that. Uh, oh, 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 oh. This is cute too for like a little, oh, look at the Tiffany, uh, the, the um, uh, what's her name? I wanna say Audrey Hepburn, but I'm probably wrong. But I might be right. I don't know. Either way, we're just gonna go on and scroll past. <laughs> Okay, here's another Peacemaker set, the Bayside Bedroom set. I want to say I have this set already, um, but I, I wouldn't use it in my particular house now. The one that I'm speaking of that you guys should see a speed build on probably later today. But um, right now it's unfurnished. There's, uh, yeah, there's like a lot of work I need to do to it. But I'm contemplating just taking all of my Sims for, I mean, all of my Sims selves furniture besides the bedroom set and just moving it in there but we probably could take the bedroom set because there's like an extra bedroom so I could always just furnish the other bedroom like a guest room or whatever until um you know if there's any more kids or what have you um that's a really cute set but I don't really need it for this particular house like I said I got like a vibe that I'm trying to go for already so it's tough because I want to um hmm this actually is a nice set too, but I'm gonna pass on it. I love those paintings on the wall. I need to go painting shopping too, but I love to get sets that already have paintings with them because it's like already there for you and everything is like already matched. So it's just beautiful. Like I said, I I like things, especially when it comes to decorating y'all, I like things to be handed to me. Like give me a whole bedroom set in a box and let me just throw it up on the, on the the in the room. You know what I'm saying? And just have like the pictures, the curtains, everything. Let me throw it up in a room, let it be cohesive, let it make sense. And then, you know, we just go from there and just be done with it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna continue scrolling to see if I see anything else. 
Well, guys, I went through about five or six more pages worth of stuff. And unfortunately, I couldn't find very much. And it got to the point where I started seeing things that I had seen before. This Ikea set, though, I think would be like a really good starter kit for people that kind of just want like matching wood furniture. And then they could just kind of like add their own um, kind of touches and stuff to it. Um, but I'm probably not going to download it. Uh, but I felt like it was a really good set to do. I want to say I've downloaded from this creator before and I had problems with it. Um, as a matter of fact, look, I think I just clicked the link and it went to something totally different. So I probably, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it's worth me like doing a whole bunch of scouring to go find. But this is the link I clicked it and it went here. But I did find uh, this Peacemaker set, which I think goes with the rest of that mid-century stuff that I saw earlier. And then the Daisy bedroom right here, I think is really nice. So what I'm gonna do is download all of these things. The only thing about this Daisy bedroom is it doesn't come with a lot of um, paintings and stuff to go with it. But this particular creator, um, which I've never seen this creator before, might have some more for um, CC that you could download that are kind of like, um, I guess go with it. We don't need to translate this page. I must have been from the other one. Um, and then I also got, I'm going to download this Lulu's uh, Lulu 265 bedroom set. I think this one is really nice, but it's another one that kind of teeter totters um, the line, but I feel like it'll be fine. Of course, we got the Peacemaker one here uh, and then another Peacemaker and then Severinka, which is the set that I was just like, um, I kind of iffy about, but I kind of want to see it in game. Then we got another Peacemaker. So it looked like I got mostly Peacemaker stuff. We got this Jom Sims because I want to see what it looks like in the game, but I'm not going to use it. Another Jom Sims, another Lulu 265. So it looks like Lulu, Peace, and Jom Sims are winning right now <laughs> as far as this whole little situation goes. I'm going to download all of these and I'll see you guys in game. Okay guys, here we are in game and I've taken everything out of my uh, folder besides just the furniture and surprisingly we ended up getting quite a bit but it was because a lot of those items were actually like merged items. Um, so anyway, off the top we got these beds right here that kind of look like, um, well it's the bowling night, SEMA living single frame and then single bed frame and then this one here so that's actually pretty cool so they come separated um and then we have this one right here i'm just going to stick it over here and we should probably should go through the swatches here as well and then i want to say that's it and one thing i really like about peacemaker is a he merges a lot of his files together so you don't have to down you don't have to have like a folder full of like 50 items um, but he also gives you the option to download everything by itself then he also does this handy a dandy um a coloring system where it's kind of like you know if you see this little symbol in the background that that's the sets that all go together so it's easy to kind of just like look and see what what other ones he has that goes with that set and just off top you can kind of see like it had um this living occasional bench that goes with it um it also has uh this one right here the leaving the three seat sofa why can't i talk today i don't know but anyway uh, unfortunately some of this stuff we're not going to be able to fit well for some reason that locked into the place right there well that's interesting okay <laughs> but um off top you can kind of like see some of the colors but like i said very max is matchy i like to, i want to do it in here because the lighting is so much better but um that's pretty much like all the pieces uh you could just kind of like go through them and see them and everything but i like these so far very nice but i already know for like a bedroom situation i probably won't use these but i do like the idea of them possibly for story time if you have a sim that's having someone come over and you got to pull out the bed for them uh i think this will be like really cool oh wait there's some geometric print too it should come with a mattress set but i don't know that it does um so i guess i i don't see all the things but there is some mattresses here that go with that set that was considered the hamptons retreat so you could throw those on there if you want to and kind of like make it um your own bed and that was another cool thing about his stuff too is you can kind of like have your own bedding and stuff and not have to like you could kind of customize it and have it be like what you want it to be and i was going to try to make it go that way right there but the bedding is absolutely stunning Look at this bedding, y'all. And everything is just very rich looking and just very, um, like the coloring is very deep and everything. I like that. Uh, but he has that set right there. Uh, let's check out this one here. Um, I think this one is another one that has multiple, wait, no, these are probably are the same. Version two and version one look very similar. But that gray up against it though, oh my gosh, these are stunning, y'all. I have to admit. 
Wow, I have to admit, these are pretty stunning. Then we have this one right here, uh, which has different, well, okay, a lot of these colors look like they repeat, but then there's some differences too. I don't know, that's got me throw it off a little bit. <laughs> but I do like his mattresses. Uh, then we have this one right here, uh, which is another version. Yeah, some of them repeat, but some of them are the same. But now I'm wondering if the sheets are different. But does this not look like a bed that you actually would see in real life or like a bedding set that you'd see in real life? To me, it does. It really looks like a set like that. Um, so anyway, there are those right there. Let's go on and get rid of all of these guys here. And I don't see any twin sets, like twin mattresses. But I'm sure if he doesn't have any, um, you could actually find mattresses just out. I, I was about to say in the world, but on online you could just find like mattresses that have been separated uh, from, because I have a couple in my game as well. So that is pretty much those. Uh, this is another, I guess let's look at the Severinka. Let's look at the Severinka set. So I'm probably going to have to um, search by, I wish that there was a way I could do this without makes it kind of difficult when you're sitting there trying to go through all the different pieces but this is the Severinka set right here the Enigma so let's go ahead and pull that out look at the different swatches so again it's a really nice set um I don't the movie, I'll be honest with you guys and I like Severinka um, this is no shade to that creator but I'm not a fan of this wild colored one um but I actually like just the orange solid one I like this one too um and I like the black and white one did I just say that yeah <laughs> same one Samantha so I like those uh, and then here go the pillows you can add with it to kind of like give it a different look that is actually really pretty if you do that with the orange not that one uh, this one that looks really good together uh, and then if you do this one you can do the gray or just the white which is really nice and then of course if you do the orange you can do the orange with the orange I'm just not a big fan of that to be honest with you guys I'm just not I was trying to see if I see any more pieces that go with it. So um, this one is the end table right. All right, so right. And then this would probably be the end table left, which looks really good. Let me switch it back to, let's just do this one because I kind of, kind of digging that one. Maybe with the white pillows. And then, so these don't come with different colors. It's just the solid, but it matches the wood. So that's actually really nice. Uh, then we have the photo mural. We could probably put, on, oh, this thing is huge. All right, so it definitely has like a little Savannah. That is really pretty though. Um, comes in a couple, oh, just two different swatches. Um, it looks very much like a photo. So I don't know. It's like if you want that photo look, then yeah. If not, you know, it's one of those things. Then you have this one over here. Let's see if that comes in different swatches. It does not just the one swatch, but you could totally put it over here. Um, so there's that one right there, which kind of goes with each piece a little bit, but not, <laughs> I'm almost like not really. I feel like it goes better with the black or the orange. I mean, this reddish one, but not maybe that one. But um, I guess to each its own. Um, and it looks like we have like uh, this antelope statue. Uh, then we have a branch. Okay, is this go? Oh, okay, it just goes on the table. All right. Uh, then we have this giraffe. And then we have these vases here. And thankfully, they all kind of go on this set. So that's really nice. So that's those four items. I'm kind of like going by just looking for the little thumbnail <laughs> with the little yellow background to see if I see anything that just kind of throws off that goes like catches my attention. I'm going to go and put this away because that's really big, but $10 is not bad. Anyway, so then we have this right here. Again, it probably just comes in the one swatch. Um, there's shelves on the side, so you might can stick some stuff on the shelves on the side. Um, let's see real quick. I'm going to see if you can. Okay, you could. You could place things on the side on the shelf um, and the stick as well. But the stick kind of like hangs out, so I probably wouldn't do that. Uh, but that's really nice. Oh, and the giraffe goes through the top. And if you size up, if you size down the vases, though, I can't really see it really good. Okay, if you size down the... Okay, can't. I can't see... <laughs> you know what it's cool it's cool you guys get the picture um and then i saw that it came with um a lamp let's see here we go so let's get rid of some of this stuff i do like the little statues though that's really nice it comes with this little lamp here that looks like uh i would say, you know first glance y'all i thought it was somebody that kind of had their legs pulled to their chest and their arms was wrapped around and this is like their head it might not be that but that's what it looks like <laughs> 
to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, then we got a dresser over here, which my gosh, this set right here came with a ton of stuff. Um, so you could throw some stuff on top of there as well. And we got that piece, that piece. I think that's it. And surprisingly, it did not. Oh wait, here's something. Um, a wall shelf with a lamp. Okay. Oh, does it come in different colors? Oh, it does. Interesting. It's it's pretty massive, but oh, it does have lights underneath it. Okay. Well, it can't go over the windows clearly. I'd have to pick a whole nother place to put it, but wow. What, you know what's interesting, y'all? I'm just gonna, let's just play around with this for a second. The only thing is, I don't know how this is gonna work with the, with, well, let me think. Um, Cause I don't know why I'm getting this vibe. Like, could you possibly do like a built-in and like build it in like this? Like things are just gonna be like disappearing. That actually might be pretty cool. I mean, look at that. This would come in handy even if you don't use it for this particular thing. And honestly, if we had like a color that matched. Um, okay, I'm just playing around right now. This has literally has nothing. But if I had a color that matched this, this, this wall color, this um, shelf color really good like almost like that one it almost looks like it could be like a built-in does it not does it not the only problem is is when it's time to do the um the little side tables here you'd have to figure out a way to kind of like scooch them in unless you did like two shelves side by side i mean but that's interesting though if you want to do something like that that's totally interesting. I actually like this piece. This right here, y'all, that is really cool. Okay. Well, that so far, I mean, that is a really nice set. We also have an ottoman, which I completely missed that earlier. If I had move objects on, I could probably scooch it right up against the bed here, but I don't have move objects on. And it comes in the different colors as well, as well as just a plain white. So if you wanted to just throw in that white, y'all, this set though is not a bad look. It is not a bad look. Uh, let's see if I see anything else real quick because I was like missing all sorts of stuff with that set. Too bad it didn't come with a mirror unless it did and I'm overlooking it, which is totally possible, but I'm going through it real quick to make sure I don't see any more because we got the lamp. We got, well, maybe this was the mirror that kind of goes with it. So maybe, maybe that was the mirror. Okay. Not a bad set though, y'all. So this is the Sev Severinka Enigma was the name of that one. And on top of the Peacemaker ones too, that is not a bad look at all. All right, so let's see what else we can see real quick. Make sure I got everything up right there. But I like that, y'all. That was really nice. Again, I wasn't a fan of that orange one, but the other ones were just perfectly fine with me. <laughs> anyway, so then we got the mid-century. Um, this is another one that's like a bed frame by Peacemaker. You could put those mattresses on it. You got this one here. I'm forgetting to toggle through the swatches. Just kind of like a basic bed. Um, it actually looks like something we already have in game but it comes in different colors it looks like, and then you can add your own bedding to it. Then we have this one right here, which has like an upholstered look, another Peacemaker one, uh, which look at that, the fabric though. It really has like a tweed material. That's really cool. Okay, so then you have that one. Then we have the canopy bed frame. Oh my gosh, this one right here though. Look at all the colors. Golly, it just keeps going. It's like different shades of blue, purple, yellow, brown. So you could do that and then throw your bedding on with it and have you like a whole bed set, like for real. I like that one too, y'all. And if you want it to be really fancy, there's actually curtains that you can add to these frames to make it like a true canopy bed. I had a canopy bed when I was growing up. It was like, <laughs> I miss that bed. I really do. Uh, then we got this one, which I could have swore we just saw mid-century abode and then a Hamptons retreat okay so there's a Hamptons retreat one so it's a little bit different maybe the colors will be differently but his colors and his I don't know it's just they're just so rich I mean they literally look like something that you like you would gotten you would have gotten the game you know anyway so here is the um Redistry bed this is by John Sims it has like a, a wicker what's it I guess that'd be like wicker like bed frame like the weaved wicker so on the pictures I was really interested in this one it's still really nice but now I'm just kind of like bored with it. <laughs> Is that crazy? I'm kind of bored with it. I'm just kind of like, okay, 
like what else you got for me um i don't know so that was that one i think the me let's see oh i didn't even see this puff go with the um that enigma set y'all that was a good set that was a good set okay do i see the pieces that go with the redistry bed um it was by john sims so let's see uh is this okay so this goes with it as well um which i think wait really that goes with that it says debug redistry bed is this one go with that really looks like it went with that other set that i wasn't a very big fan of yikes okay so alrighty. um I don't know because all these things say debug so here go redistry end table yeah see i think this one yeah y'all no it's a no for me with the redistry so we're i'm not going to even go through the rest of them that was enough for me to just be like nah <laughs> i'm easy uh okay so completely missed the enigma where did i do what did i do i missed this part too y'all the little blanket that goes with it golly how did i miss all that so you got the bed set um and i know i'm gonna keep going back to this one you got the extra poofy bedding that goes with it oh my god so if you would have done this one with i can't okay with with that one even though you can't see the set and then you would have done those pillows oh my gosh you could have had like a whole giraffe print thing the only thing is like oh wait i did the wrong color let me get the right color here boom all right and then the only thing is you really can't see the bedding underneath it except for when your son maybe gets in the bed will they throw that blanket back probably not i don't think they throw these blankets back so this is just like extra but um i actually liked it like how it was but anyway we're, we're gonna be done with that one i just saw that piece right there and i was like eh. all right so this is another jump sims set right here this one was called the argon future bed i think it's called um that's these right here again on the pictures i was excited about it I was kind of like intrigued, but just looking at it in person, I'm just, something about it is just, I'm not a big fan of it, y'all. I'm just not. Um, let me see if I see the other pieces that go with it. I don't, okay. Summer Ford bid. Okay, I'm gonna, man, those are expensive. 12,000? Why? Why Lulu 265? You get tens across the board, but why are they so expensive? I'm gonna have to give this poor family some more money. All right, um, so that's the redistry. Okay, so this one probably goes. It's like a little side table um, with a little mirrored um, top. I say um a lot. I'm so, I apologize for that. Oh, some paintings. We'll look at those in a minute. Uh, and then of course we got some some plants and stuff that go with Peacemaker. But I want to see the rest that go with this. Um, in future in future y'all look we even got mirrors to go at the peacemaker stuff oh my gosh okay so the focus 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 we're looking for all right so montana bed um okay there go more redistry stuff but we went on and put that one on the back burner that one's coming out my game i'm just not a big fan of that one uh the rug yeah see i'm just not a big fan of that as well um but okay here go the fireplace oh wait hold on in future wait i picked the wrong things y'all this is the item for that futuristic set so what is this one called oh argon okay argon future bed and then this one is argon Fu okay so that is it okay i'm confused i've confused myself okay so then we got the structure here which is not going to even fit in this poor house um golly that is a big set it does really light up though y'all can i put it outside and see i guess not because they don't have okay it really does light up that is insane how in the world did they do that and then you got this piece right here this is a huge piece though like i feel like you would have to have like a huge bedroom but i mean if you're playing like with aliens or you want to do some like futuristic type thing you could totally pull this off we got some decorative stairs too what are we doing with the decorative stairs so let me get the pieces. We're just going to sit them out here, I guess, for the time being. Um, and see what we got. <laughs> and we're going to do it at nighttime. So this bed goes with this set, right? How does the bed go on top? I'm confused. How does it... Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. But what's the stairs for? Redistry. Okay, that's that one. Ark and Future. Oh, they light up too? Y'all, the pillows light up that is crazy 
I don't even know what to say, but okay. Um, all right. Let's see what else they got that go with it. Um, we got Redistry. Redistry. Okay, this floor lamp here. Wow. Okay, y'all. I, I have no use for this particular set as of right now. But oh my gosh. Like, if I was doing something like this, I mean, come on. You could probably prop this up underneath it and look like it's holding it up. That is crazy. And if this is actual fireplace, if it actually functions as a fireplace, that'd be really cool. Does it actually function? It says fireplace. It makes me wonder if it functions as a fireplace. But that is crazy. What's the steps for though? I guess if you do like a platform type thing, could you like place it up against, I guess you could place it up against like a, a raised area. But will they actually use it? I don't know. Wow. I am shocked by that one, y'all. I am impressed by that one. I have to admit, I am impressed by that one. I don't really see any more pieces, but it's not it's useless for me in this situation that I'm using it for. But if you guys, I mean, I highly recommend it if you decide you want to do like um like a storytelling type LP or something with um with aliens or something that's the first thing that it came to my mind is like this is very futuristic let me give this family some more money here okay y'all just excuse the rest of the house my money cheat would not work i have no idea why so i had to delete these people's entire house in order to get this bed this bed is entirely too expensive <laughs> Twelve thousand simoleons like if a if a simoleon was equivalent to one dollar who's spending twelve thousand dollars on a bed who who I don't know, not me. But anyway, this is the bed right here by Lulu265. It is the Summerford bed set. And it's it's okay. I mean, for 12,000, it's quite a bit. Uh, then we have the Monta Montana bedroom, uh, which is the same price. This one is not that bad though. I actually probably like this one a little bit better, but it's the bed, the bed frame itself, like the headboard is kind of just like, eh. A little bit boring um so i i don't know about that one then we got oh we got the poofs that go with the peacemaker set y'all the peacemaker set might end up being the winner i don't know then we got the daisy bed which we need to go look for that one i think this one is going to be really cute too um it's by the py s z n y creator please don't clone my meshes i will not but this one is really nice i like this little set uh then we got this set here which is another peacemaker another peacemaker i mean another peacemaker we're just gonna go through <laughs> i'm trying to go in order y'all i'm like all over the place i apologize um then we got this peacemaker this peacemaker y'all peacemaker might be the winner that's all i'm saying right now i mean look at i don't see one piece in here so far that i'm just kind of like nah this piece right here i'm nan about but that's not peacemaker i'm just meaning like peacemaker stuff i'm not okay i didn't did i saw that one okay then we got this set here uh then we have this table which is another peacemaker but it's not bedroom so we'll just skim over that then we got the dead oh whoa this whole thing is mirrored okay y'all we need to find this set okay so this is the uh daisy one so let's go grab uh because it was this chair too was daisy and then um we got the night. What's this one? Oh, okay. Okay, what's this one called? Arigato sideboard. Arigato. Okay. Uh, then you got the mirrored bedside table too, which is really nice. I liked mirrored things, y'all. I want more mirrored things in my house for real. Then you have this one here. This will make like a really cool TV stand. Like, you know, you can put your TV on it and your video game equipment and all that stuff on it. Um, but I really want to find, okay, then this is the bedside table. Uh, this is the glass bedside table too. That one's really cool. looks like the glass is just kind of like floating there. Um, then we got another peacemaker bed. I don't know y'all peacemaker might be the winner for what I'm looking for. All right, here's the Montana set that went with that other bed set, but I'm probably passing on that one. This one is a Summerford. I'm probably pass on that one as well. Uh, here's another Peacemaker one, which is really nice. Peacemaker. These definitely have like an aesthetic to them and I like it. I do. I like the coloring and everything on it, but, um, and you got this little shelf right here. Come on guys. You can't win. You can't lose with Peacemaker and all these go with bowling stuff. So if you already have bowling stuff, and you just want extra pieces it's like perfect to go pick up because it's going to go with the stuff you already have you know um then you got this set here cheers to me uh we got a bedside t uh um flower bedside table a flower arrangement oh gosh talk samantha uh then you got this one here 
this one here we're still looking for that set that goes with that one so i'm just kind of like toggling through these until we find it but definitely all of these y'all they are definitely staying in my game i'm telling you peacemaker for the win peacemaker for the win oh my gosh it just keeps going and going and going and then here goes some prints here y'all oh my gosh but these prints are absolutely stunning y'all peacemaker might be the winner look at these i mean they go so good with the game aesthetic already like you know what i'm saying but anyway what's this one okay this one is summerford this one's a nice painting set too but it goes with that summerford set and then we got the montana 415 is quite a bit for a painting though I mean, these are $1.99. I don't know. Like, I feel like some of this, um, the Lulu stuff is like overpriced. Then we have this leading mirror here, uh, which is really pretty too. Um, then we have the Montana bedroom mirror, which is 105. Wait, no. Yeah, 105. Okay, that's not too bad. All right. Then we got the Peacemaker sunrise mirror and then the sunset mirror. <laughs> oh, I like that. Um, then we got another bedroom mirror here. We got this one. I'm just going to go through them real quick. And um, this one's really nice. Okay, so this is Daisy too. Okay, so this is Daisy. So let's put that over there because we're still looking for the Daisy bed. Um, here's an ornate mirror. Um, then we got Montana curtains here. These are nice. Okay. Then we have a small Stettle Ted Doctahedron. I have no idea what that is, but it's a piece of a uh, decor item, I guess you could say. Then you have this one right here. I'm not going to even try to say that. And these come in different colors. Looks really good up against the mirrored thing because you could kind of see it uh, with the mirrored in the background. Then we have this one and this one. And then you have the Oceanic Sea Sculpture. That one is really pretty. Uh, you got a whale for the Hamptons Retreat. And then here go Montana bed decor. So after you spend 12000 for the bed, then you got to go find the decor to match the bed, right? I mean, come on. Come on. It's like way too expensive, y'all. All right. Then you got these little pieces right here that go on the bed. Matches the big paintings. Um, then we have another decor for that summer fed bed. Summer said bed. Uh, wow. That's all I'm going to say about that. So where is the daisy bed? Did I overlook it? I must have overlooked it at some point, but um, I got the candle holder here, which is really pretty. That one is for summer fed here. That one's really nice. Looks like a, I don't know, like piping. Like, I don't know. <laughs> then you got the decor for the bed, more decor. Uh, you got a rug here. Um, got another rug here for that. Then we have, uh, this one's actually really nice. Some of these pieces I might keep, even if I might not keep the whole set. Even though the shadowing on this one is kind of off. But that one is really nice. Uh, then we have a divider. Okay, that's the Bowling Night Divider. But y'all, I really don't see. Then we got the, oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, another divider. Um, then we got the a, a candle, another candle. Um, then we have... The Summerford, okay, that's really pretty too. I guess they spe specialize in like a lot of metal stuff, like a lot of, um, what would that be considered? Industrial, I guess, like metal type stuff. Um, but yeah, those are really nice. Uh, then we got the Montana, we got this one. Got more Peacemaker stuff. I don't know, y'all. Peacemaker, um, I'm telling y'all right now, Peacemaker is winning. And that's all I have to say about that. Because these pieces are absolutely stunning. I don't see one thing that I don't like. Oh, there was two of these. There's a small one and a big one. Um, I mean, look at this, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a light fixture. Okay, it's a light fixture. Then we have this light fixture that goes on the wall that says left. And then we got a right one. We got an, We even got an alarm clock, y'all. Like, come on. I'm going to go see if he has curtains. If he has curtains, y'all, I'm going to grab those curtains. And we're going to be good to go. Um, we got a dresser here really nice and then we got another dresser all of the pieces just kind of like go together then we have this one and they definitely have like a look to them you know then you have this one right here and, and this one and um but yeah that's really weird that i did not see the daisy piece did i here we go y'all i overlooked it <gasps> that would be me all right so daisy 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 all right daisy how are we feeling about you um truth be told daisy is not a bad look uh, I don't even know what color I would go for just for the sake of trying it out. Let's do that one And I think they had bedding bedding here. So you can kind of change those out It's not a bad look Honestly, Daisy is not a bad look 
but for the amount of pieces that you get with peacemaker stuff i feel like peacemaker definitely is winning uh does this go along with the kind of but not really some of the pieces match and some of them don't um but then it's almost like um if you do that let's see here right there okay but then it's like yellow so is there a yellow one okay but the yellows don't really match hmm um okay is there like a red okay so we do red and red and then there's no matching bedding for that pillow okay okay can we do green is there like a green okay so let's stick with black and white see okay so there you go and then can we do the white but then the white don't match so i don't know y'all this is interesting um and the weird thing about it is this piece right here this is yeah daisy 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 this doesn't look like it even goes with it like where is the mirror stuff coming into play I don't know y'all I don't know how to feel about this set because I would want them pillow to match the bedding but then if you have a black upholstered because the white isn't white and it doesn't look good with the black then you have a white chair and then you have this mirrored piece that really doesn't make any sense to me it really doesn't make any sense to me I, I hate to I hate to say that but it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me huh okay well, I mean, to be honest with y'all, I'm going, I'm looking through everything right now and I, I have to admit, I think Peacemaker is going to be the one that I'm going to probably stick with. So probably what I'll do is, um, as a matter of fact, before I end this episode, we'll go on and go back to Peacemaker's website. I'm going to link, oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm going to link um, Peacemaker's uh, website down below. Um, but of course you guys can check out SS Vitalins and go check out um, the other pieces because I do like the Severinka one but for the amount of stuff I get with Peacemakers I feel like I could literally make a whole bedroom set and I could even have chairs I can have like one of these little benches I can have a nightstand I can have like a mirror you know to go in there I have like wall art I don't know I feel like and I even have like down to the little trees and the little plants and stuff you know I just feel like I mean even if I wanted to do like some little decor like this somewhere I don't know I just feel like for the amount of stuff that I get uh, I mean this is like a really nice well done piece and the color is stunning you know for the for the different pieces or whatever but I don't know I feel like for what we get it's a winner so yeah let me go back to his set his uh, website and let's see if we can find like curtains and other matching stuff Okay, so I'm on Peacemaker's website right now, and I just realized he actually has cast downloaded cast stuff that you can download too, which seems like a lot of recolors of actual in-game stuff. But I mean, he even has Sims you can grab. Oh my gosh! Oh wait, or is this hairstyles? I don't know because it's like the cool dude, the romantic. Um, because sometimes poofy is overrated. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Shaggy waves, but definitely a good Maxis match type creator. Um, but then if you go to his main uh, terms of use page, he has object downloads right here, or you could do all downloads. And I've actually grabbed some of his lots before. I used two of them in my city living LP, um, which is really nice. So here goes some of his uh, bedroom sets right here. So we have... The Roarsome's Kid Bedroom set right here. Like, come on. This is absolutely adorable. I'm surprised I didn't come across this stuff when I was looking uh, for... Well, I guess I was looking for nursery stuff. But this stuff might be my toddler room stuff. Like, look how cute this is. And clearly it goes with things that are already in the game. Because, like, these clouds and that tree is already in the game. But look at this giraffe shelf. Like, this stuff literally looks like it could have been a game pack that we purchased from them you get what i'm saying like to me it looks like that um and then we have living room uh we got hamptons modest luxury luxury spin we got oasis chic dining i mean come on this looks like this goes outside look at this little gazebo thing the pergola oh look at these little hanging ivy chandeliers like come on <laughs> This ended up being like a peacemaker episode. I didn't, it wasn't my intention at all. Uh, we got drapery delight. So this will be where curtains and stuff is at or yeah, look at this. Look at all these curtains. Look at all the colors. One tall, Thailand counter, short, medium, and tall length, high wall lights. One, two Thailand counter, short, medium, and tall. And then we got 
three tile and four tile. So you can have them super long, super short, and they come in all of these colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these for sure. So I can at least have curtains to go uh, with his stuff because he probably uses the same palettes as far as the colors and stuff go. And I wouldn't be surprised. He has a fabric sofa set. He has lofty living. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he has rugs and stuff too. But look at these decor brick arch pieces. Come on. <laughs> like seriously. Um, I really kind of want to take the time because some of his stuff I already have. But I kind of want to what's a mesh dump what is this okay oh three new mesh sets for domestic and retail use for t the sims 4 wow okay so i probably should grab y'all i'm like tempted to grab everything we have window and door add-ons we got lock looker windows entry frame add-ons what is entry frame add-on you could put cur oh so entryways and then like you could put curtains in the middle of them um that is really cool i mean it just goes on and on uh we got some some paintings right here that we could probably get um stuff like that here goes some rugs so i'm going to got pattern and rugs and just regular rugs and then you got round rugs just one more ride <laughs> wait just one more ride rugs and the nice beehive rugs color me rugs color me rugs color me rugs i mean come on so I'm probably going to grab all of these rugs because then I could just kind of like, and then he even has fireplaces. So I don't know, guys, definitely somebody to go check out. I'll put his description, his link in the description because um, you can see that it just goes on and on and on. And I'll also put Lena CC finds for the uh, bedroom stuff, which was the stuff right here in the description. And you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment box. But like I said, I think Peacemaker definitely will probably be the set that I end up using. Um, here we go let's grab those and i'm gonna heart those up but everything is just like all zipped together so i don't have to download everything um one by one so i'm probably gonna do that but anyway i'm gonna end this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know if you that comment box down below and sorry that it seems like it was all over the place i didn't <laughs> you never can um i guess i guess or see you can never anticipate <laughs> how these episodes will go because you just never know what you're going to run across but Hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.